Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I know that you already saw the title of this video, so I'm not gonna try to pretend that we don't all know what we're here for, but I, I think this is my first makeup tutorial video. So your girl is, is really nervous to do these videos, but literally all of my friends and like my family have just been hounding me to do makeup videos. And like, I, I really want to. And you guys have been asking me so much to do makeup videos and to show you guys like doing makeup looks and stuff. So I'm finally sitting down. I'm finally gonna do it. I mean, we have kind of like dipped our toe into makeup videos before, but nothing like an actual tutorial. So I'm gonna show you everything that I do all the products that I use. And I am actually getting ready to film a resin video. So this is what I normally do. I kind of like come into the design house, do my makeup here, and then I'll film my resin video. So I thought, why not work in some makeup tutorials at the same time? So I'm gonna show you guys kind of like my everyday makeup, which I know that usually every day might sound like, you know, neutrals and stuff like that. But if you've watched like any of my videos, my every day is not every day for most people. Um, and I'm not saying that in like a braggy way. It's just I really love crazy eye makeup and like really blown out pretty colors. And I mean, I do. I really love like a natural kind of like nude look, too. But if I'm going to show you guys my every day, I'm gonna be honest, it's it's more than just like the neutrals and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I do my makeup. I'm excited. So if you guys are interested, then continue watching. So like I said, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. So be gentle on me. Also, I want to admit something. I forgot to do anything with my nails. So we're gonna be dealing with um, artist nails today. I'm sorry, I promise it won't always be this way, but for today, we're just gonna try to ignore it. So I'm gonna get started. I'm, I'm so excited to do this. I'm also so nervous, and I've said that a thousand times, so I'm gonna try to stop saying it. As far as makeup, I feel like I know what I'm doing, but as far as filming myself doing my makeup, I, I don't know what I'm doing. So cut me some slack, I'm, I will get better at this but maybe my first few makeup tutorials might not be like, you know, grade A top tier makeup tutorials, but I'm trying, so we will get better. Okay, we're zoomed in. Is this too close? You guys have to let me know. Is this too close? I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing, so I'm gonna get started. Okay, so we're gonna jump in. I am gonna be using my Real Technique sponge. It is wet, and honestly, I kinda, I don't really have a favorite foundation. Um, I kinda jump between a few different foundations, but right now I have been using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation, and I am in the shade 430. So usually I have a palette that I kinda like squirt this onto, but I forgot to bring one, so I'm just gonna be squirting this onto my hand. So just kind of dip into it from my hand and then pat it onto my face and blend it out. I am just kind of like doing quick little pats like that. So once I blended out my foundation, I'll go in with my concealer. And right now I've been using the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer and I am in the shade Classic Ivory. And I'm just gonna take this under my eyes and I put it like right in the inner corner and kind of take it out a little bit like that. And then I'll also put some on the outer corner. I've been trying to do less concealer under my eyes because I feel like it can get really cakey really fast. But I also have like really dark under eyes and like dark bags. So I always want to like cake on tons of concealer because I have such dark under eyes. But I'm trying to do that less because it just doesn't, it just doesn't look good. Then I'll also take my concealer on any spots that I have. And then I'll take my Real Technique sponge and blend that out. Yeah. 
And then for blending out my under eyes, I do start with the concealer that I put on my outer corner and I kind of like work that in to the middle and then I kind of work back and forth, kind of like just tiny, tiny little pats. And I'm not pressing super hard either. I'm trying to be really soft. And then on my inner corner, I kind of like do tiny little pats going up and down to really work it into that corner. Then I'll also pat it on top of my eyelid and kind of like bring it all together. And then I'll do the same on the other side. Then once everything is blended out, I will go in with my powder and I'm gonna be using the Milk Makeup Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder. And then the brush I'm gonna be using is this double-ended Persona brush. I did get this in a BoxyCharm box. I usually don't like double-ended brushes because when you put it in like a jar or whatever, there's always one end that's like touching the bottom. So they're not my favorite, but I did get it in a box and I kind of like the shape of both ends. So I still use it. So before I dip into my powder, I do like to go back in and kind of pat out my eyelids to make sure there's no creasing because my eyelids crease. And then once that's done, I will dip into my powder and set my eyelids. I know not everybody does this. I think that a lot of people actually leave their eyelids like not set with any kind of powder because it makes your eyeshadow kind of stick better and look better. But I just feel like I crease so much. So once my eyelids are set, I am going to pat out, kind of like how I did with my eyelids, I'm gonna pat out my under eyes to make sure there's no creasing. So once that's all pat out, I use the smaller end of the brush, the double-ended brush I showed you guys. And then I kind of lightly dust this starting at the very inner corner of my eye and kind of work it out. And then I'll take a little bit of powder and kind of like set my forehead a little bit. Again, trying not to do too much because it can get cakey. There's just a fine line between good and cakey. And then I'm just gonna lightly set the rest of my face and I'm gonna be using one of my billion dollar brushes. Again, I got this in one of my BoxyCharm boxes and this is the powder brush. This is what it looks like. And I'm just gonna lightly go around and dust because again, there's a fine line between looking set and good and then cakey. I also do wanna say that this is how I do my makeup and like my foundation, my concealer, how I set it. Um, and that's obviously based on my skin and my texture and like, you know, the oiliness and all of that. So you might have to set your entire face. You might not have to set it at all. Everybody's got their different preferences when they do their makeup. So what I'm gonna do next is bronze up my face and I'm gonna be using this. This is the House Laboratories Bronzer and Highlighting Duo, which looks like this. And these highlighters are like, oh, they're so pretty. And then also for my bronzer, the brush I'm gonna be using is another billion dollar brush and it's the contour brush. And it is an angled brush. So I'll kind of like dip into the bronzer, knock off a little bit on my you know, mirror or whatever I'm using. And then I'll, I'm gonna start like right in the very corner here, kind of where I want my contour or my bronzer to be deepest. And then I'm gonna sort of stipple it around. I kind of, I try not to like swipe it around because I don't wanna like pull any of the makeup that's underneath off. So I'll start here and kind of like lightly stipple it around. And I also like to take it on my cheeks here because I kind of like that sun-kissed look. And if I've gone in with too much, I'll kind of go back in with one of the brushes that I had my powder on and I'll kind of just like blur that line a little bit and kind of like brush this out so that it's not so harsh. And then I'll also take a little bit on my brush, kind of like hit some off and then do a little bit on my hairline to kind of frame the rest of my face. So I don't necessarily contour my nose, but I will take my bronzer brush and since it's angled, I'll just kind of stipple a little bit on the sides of my nose just to kind of give it some kind of definition. Then I'll take what's left on my brush and just dust it under my chin. And now we're gonna go in with some blush and I'm gonna be using 
one of the House Laboratories blush and highlight duos. And the shade I'm going in with is Bouquet, which is this one right here. Super, super pretty. Also, I think I forgot to tell you what the bronzer shade was called, and it is called Kindle, and I did just hit pan on it. Oh! The brush I'm gonna be using is one of the Morphe brushes and is the Y4, it looks like this. It's also an angled brush. I'm gonna start right on the very like point of my cheek, the very apple, and kind of work it up. I do like to bring my blush kind of high. You obviously don't have to do that if that's not what you like. And I'll also take it onto like my cheek here and then I also do a little bit on my nose. Again, I, I just really like the sun-kissed look. I like a blushy nose, okay? I do, I just like it. I know some people don't like it. I love it, I think it's super cute. I also kind of like to, since I do blush on my nose a little bit, I like to flick it up onto my forehead, just a t like a teeny tiny bit. Like you can't even really tell. It just helps blend the whole thing and it doesn't, it makes it look like my nose isn't just like a block of pink and it's kind of like blended into my forehead as well. So from this same blush and highlighter palette, I am gonna be using this highlighter. It is the shade Ribbon. It is super, super pretty. It's like, it's a highlighter that you could probably see from space. Like it is so bright and pretty. So if you don't like highlighters like that, maybe go light with this if you want to try it, it but it is really really pretty so i am going to be using the brush from real techniques it is the 402 and it says setting brush so it looks like this and i'll just lightly dip into it nothing crazy hit some of it off so it's not too much and then kind of pat it on like this in the very high point of my cheek and then also bringing it up to my brow bone as well to kind of highlight up there. Sorry if I'm uh, looking into the viewfinder a lot. It's only because I'm using it as like a mirror when I'm trying to show you guys something. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. That was a lot. Sometimes I'll go back in with my blush brush and kind of like blend them both together, especially if I put on too much which happens like every time I do my makeup because highlight is one of my favorite things and I will cake it on, I, I just will. I'm also gonna take a little bit of that highlighter and dust it onto the tip of my nose. Like that, and then I'll take a little more and dust it on the bridge of my nose as well. And then dusting a t like a little bit onto my forehead. And when I'm feeling extra highlight crazy, which is most of the time, I'll go back in with my Heat Spell palette and I'll use the highlight shade from this palette, which is called Ember. Dip just a little bit into that, hit most of it off, and lightly dust it all around just to bring in a little bit of warmth, you know? You don't have to like go crazy with it. Okay, so that is kind of like the base of my face. And now we're gonna go in and do my eyebrows. I am gonna be using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. And I'm also gonna be using the brow brush that kind of goes with it, which is the Anastasia number 12. I'll kind of comb my brow out just a little bit to you know, get like the foundation and concealer out of it. And then once I'm ready to draw on my eyebrow, I do start at the very high point of my eyebrow and then work my way down the, to the point. And then I fill it in down to the point. I'm still working at the top part, not the bottom yet. And I'll start to kind of fill it in. and then start working on the bottom line. I still haven't gone to the front yet because I don't want it to get too dark. That's why I'm working on the very tail end first. So I'm just filling it in and kind of like forming that bottom line to meet up with the top line to form the very point of my brow. And just dragging that line down until it's a nice point. Then I'll also brush through, make sure nothing's like looking clumpy or anything. And that's basically how I do my eyebrows. So I won't really like fill in the very front because I don't want it to be too dark. I kind of want it to fade from like, you know, just my brow hairs like lightly filled in in the front and then fade into darker and sharper 
on the very tail end of my brow. So I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So that's it for the brows, and now we're finally gonna jump into doing some eye makeup, some eyeshadow. For my eyes, I'm gonna be going in with this Viseart palette, and it is the Cool Mattes 2 palette. And I am gonna first go into this like bone shade right at the top here. And I'm also gonna be using a Sigma Tapered Blending Brush. This is the E35. I'm gonna take some of that shade. Hit some of it off again because I don't want it to be too much. I feel like I hit a lot off. And then start, start from the outer corner and then kind of like working it all around. This is just, again, more of like setting my eyelid. Okay, so I've moved you guys even closer. I feel like this whole video is you guys just like inching closer and closer to my face. But I want you guys to be able to see. Again, let me know if like these close-up shots are like not working for you. So I am taking this bone shade and I'm kind of like working it from the inner corner. I'm basically just kind of working it all around my lid, kind of focusing it in the crease. But blending it completely out so that it's not just like a harsh line. So then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So what I'm gonna do now that everything is kind of like blended out on my eyelids, I'm gonna go in with this brush. It is the Real Techniques 301 and it's called the Base Shadow Brush. And I think I'm gonna go in with one of these. I think I'm gonna go in with the lighter one first, this like bluer shade. And I'm gonna be starting on my outer corner and kind of like buffing it out in the outer corner. And then I'm also going to be buffing it into the inner corner. So just really packing it onto that outer corner and kind of starting to form that point right there. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more of that shade and do the inner corner, but I am gonna like kind of hit off a lot of the shade from the brush because I don't want it to be too crazy. So I'm gonna start right here and kind of work into my eyelid. So packing it on the inner corner and the outer corner and then leaving the center clear because I think what I'm gonna try to do is some kind of glitter or sparkly right in the middle there. So now I'm gonna go in with that bone color again and the brush that I was using with it and kind of just like blend out these edges so that they're not super harsh. So I think I'm gonna go in with my Luxie 121 Mini Tapered Brush and then we're gonna do the darkest blue in the palette and then I'm gonna be doing this in the very outer corners and really just packing that on the outer corner to deepen it up. So now what I'm doing is taking this tiny tapered brush that I've been using with the darker blue shade and I'm sort of connecting at the top here and like super, super lightly dusting it over to my inner corner to sort of connect them. And then we're gonna go in with that brush that we were using the bone shade with and I'm gonna blend again.
And then going back in with that tiny tapered brush and the darker blue shade, I'm gonna bring back some of the deeper blue and just kind of going back over everything, blending everything out. A lot of getting a really good eye look is just blending and blending and blending. <laughs> but I am leaving this inner corner as the lighter blue shade and I'm not really working any of this darker blue into it because I really want the outer corner to be the deepest part. And then I'm gonna go back in with the brush that we were using the lighter blue shade with and I'm gonna kind of just blend out that inner corner again but also working into the darker blue that I've been connecting at the top. So I'm going to take a smaller Sigma brush. This is the E21 smudge brush. It looks like this. I'm going to go in with the lighter blue shade and kind of work it on my lower lash line to kind of blend everything together. And then I'm gonna dip into the darker blue shade and only put that on the outer lower lash line so that it connects with the darker shade on the top and it all just kind of goes together. So I'm gonna go in with the Sigma eye shading brush. It's the E55, it looks like this. And we're going with that bone shade and kind of just buff out the lower lash line. So what I'm going to do for the very center is I'm going to be taking the Pat McGrath Sublime Skin Highlighting Trio. And I'm going to be taking this like center yellowy, greeny, gold shade right in the middle here. I'm just going to be taking that on my finger and I'm going to be patting it on the very center of my lid. This doesn't have to be too perfect because I'm gonna go back in with my brushes that we have the blue shades on and kind of blend it all out. Then I'm also gonna be taking the gold shade from this palette right here, right on my finger again, and then I'm gonna be patting that over the like greenish gold shade. And then I'm gonna take my mini tapered brush that has the darker blue shade on it and I'm gonna blend everything back out because we were a little bit messy with that. Just keeping the gold in the very center and having everything kind of blend out. Then I'm also gonna take that gold shade and place it on the inner corner of my bottom lash line. Just right down here. So I'm gonna be going in with the Maybelline Hyper Easy Brush Tip Liner, and it looks like this. So I'm just gonna be lining very close to my lash line. Basically just like stamping it on. So I'm not like going like this, I'm more having it on the side. So for this, I just take the very point of the eyeliner, start it at the very corner of my inner corner, and flick a line up. And then once that line is there, I'll try to get to the very point of it and draw a line to connect with the rest of my eyeliner. Yes. 
So now that our eyeliner is on, I am going to glue on some fake eyelashes. I'm gonna be using these ones. This is the last set of these that I have. These are the Ardell 811s, and they're faux mink. And then once everything is kind of clamped down and I feel like everything's glued on, I'm gonna go in with some mascara. The mascara I'm gonna be using is the Lily Lashes Triple X Mascara, and this is what it looks like. Then I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner pencil. This is the NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick, and it's in the shade Pitch Black. So what I'm gonna be doing is lining like right under my eyelashes on my eyelid. I'm sorry if this looks weird. <laughs> And then I'm going to line my lower lash line as well. Okay, so this is what the eyes are looking like. I kind of love it. I kind of love it. So I'm going to do some lipstick now to finish up the look. I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty lipstick in the shade Single. And I think I'm also gonna go in with this lip gloss. This is from the Lip Bar. And the shade is called Miss Independent. It's this really pretty like brownish shade. Let me know what you guys think of this. And yeah, I mean, I was super nervous to film this video and it was actually super fun to film. So let me know what you guys think of makeup videos living on this channel because I kinda wanna film more. Like this was a lot of fun. So let me know you guys' thoughts in the comments. And I thank you guys so much for watching my very first makeup tutorial. I'm so excited to post this. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and following me on Instagram. It is at artsymadwoman. I love you guys to absolute death, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs> and the makeup that you guys see in my videos. Am I touching my hair a lot? <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my everyday makeup and yo. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my everyday makeup and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna roll up my sleeves. Oh my god, nervous, nervous. Oh god. <laughs> Is it still too low? That might be too high. Is that too high? Yeah. It is uh, wet. This is gonna be hard. <laughs> Just kind of like dip, dip, dip. What am I saying? <laughs> Wow, we looking crazy. And I'm gonna also be using the brush that kind of goes with it, which is the Anastasia number 12. It doesn't really... <laughs> I just stabbed myself in the eye. Let me know what you guys think of it. Huh?